come back. Boxing is one of the toughest sports in the world, and it takes plenty of physical and mental skill to step into the ring. Brad Hartman not only fights, but does it on one leg. The 31-year-old from Sydney's West is an amputee, but that hasn't stopped this determined athlete taking on all comers. Hardman says he's pulled up well after his TKO victory and can't wait for his next fight. Hardman didn't know who he's up against until just before the fight, and while giving away size and reach, he wasn't too concerned. My style anyway is that you can come in close anyway, so it works better on the poor opponents, and then say, well, hopefully if he's normally they're taller opponents anyway, so, and then me, and then say, so he actually was a taller opponent me, so we worked in close, Working inside, come in, and uh, so it worked to our advantage, actually. While ending the fight early is something that doesn't come easy, Hardman believed his punching ability could do the job in the ring. I like to go in there and um, think that I can, if once I hit him, hit him clean and flush, he's going to go. So, I, I, you know, he can't get too um, far of yourself. So I, I took me time a bit, but when, when I hit him one, two, and then he went backwards, I've um, sent him back off a bit, so I jumped on him and hit him with two big left hooks and then I him trap my butt in the second one and that's when, I, that's when he dropped. In terms of boxing trainers in Australia, they don't come much bigger than Johnny Lewis. The master trainer is in Hardman's corner and the 31-year-old couldn't have asked for a better mentor. To come along with, to help me out, like at the start, he, he's the one that rang me up, told him to come, come down and do a bit of training at the gym and that's how it virtually all started. I've, I've walked in about 100 kilos and um, I trained down to 94, uh, 84 kilos on the weekend. And um, yeah, so it was, it was great. Like, just his presence alone, especially if you're a boxing fan, you don't refuse that help when someone like he rings you up and says, come to the gym and want to help you out. Hardman will continue to train and fight whoever the next opponent happens to be. But both he and trainer Lewis have their sights set on a much higher goal. The ultimate goal is trying to get it into the Paralympic sport as a Paralympic sport in the near future. So hopefully by me doing these shows here and there and a bit of coverage, hopefully they could, you know, push it forward a bit. Hardman would certainly be on the right stage at a Paralympic Games, flying the flag for country and his people. Round two of the AFL's...